hello there. This is DLPOV. Welcome to my channel. If you're a first time viewer, uh, this video, as you can tell, is going to be about Demon Slayer. However, if you are an anime only viewer, do not worry, this video has no spoilers at all. This is not really a spoilerish video. It is more of a gratitude that I want to that I want to show towards the series. Uh, some of you may have heard or have already heard or will probably hear the anime, uh, excuse me, the manga uh, officially had its last chapter. And wow, uh, what an incredible journey. The series has gained massive popularity all over the world really quickly as soon as the anime started showcasing its, its, uh, its beauty. Um, the anime was an excellent point to, to highlight and demonstrate the beauty of the, of the manga, which at the same time, it's, it's very interesting because at the same time you can say that the manga was beautiful on its own already, but the anime showed different, a different side of the manga that you couldn't get uh, from just reading panels. The animation really added on to the experience, but at the same time it didn't take anything away from the manga. It still made me want to read the manga. Uh, and even now, nowadays, I still like read the first couple of volumes which have been animated, which I could easily go watch on Crunchyroll. Uh, but it, it was a nice little bundle to have and I'm not gonna lie I was one of those people that was very pessimistic about the series in the beginning I wasn't I, I was being very careful because I, I heard the popularity of Demon Slayer when it was popping uh, I, I, I saw how it was getting traction I saw how reviewers were saying in the very beginning that the series was very interesting very cool it has some very nice ideas going for it and in all honesty I was being very wary because uh, I was trying not to get my hopes up and I wasn't trying to get into the series right away until I got confirmation that the author is actually knows what, what, what he's doing and I am very very happy that once the Hinokami dance episode got animated um, it was a beautiful moment for anime and manga readers to um, to dive into the series, and and if you weren't a fan, you were going going to become a fan. So as soon as that episode popped up, uh, I said, you know what? Let's see what all this is about, and everything from the early stages of the anime, which were beautifully done. Studio Bones, I believe, is the one that animated the anime. They did a beautiful, wonderful job, and and I'm, I'm can't wait for the movie to come out, season two, so to say. Uh, and all I can really say is just that after the anime ended and I got into the manga, it was a very, very, a very um, rare experience where I said I want to know a lot more about this world. I didn't, it's not one of those series, for example, like Beastars, which I'll make probably a video about in the future, uh, where I liked the anime, but I said, I, I'll wait for the next season. I don't, I don't feel the need uh, to read the manga. This series really got me to the point where I legit tried the first two months to wait it out. And I said, no, I can't do this. I have to read the manga. I need to know what's going to happen next um, before I start spoiling myself through sp YouTube videos and the manga itself was a special experience I cannot I cannot lie how much how much how many times I've laughed how many times I felt suspense how much I've binge read chapter after chapter after chapter the story is beautifully written uh, this story in particular is known to subvert uh, shonen tropes and it does an excellent job in it and to the very last chapter it does something beautiful with its, with its climax quote unquote its ending that still subverts shonen tropes and it's beautiful to know that a series like this existed that that it took what it the base it, it took what 
what all shonen uh, series have, and made something different out of it. it. Played played off it, and that's something that I have to commend it, applaud it, applaud it for. The author uh, Koyoharu Goto. I hope I'm pronouncing name correctly. I doubt you're seeing this video. I I doubt you're watching this. Uh, why would you? But if by any means you do come across this video at some point, thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful series. Uh, thank you for subvers um, subverting expectations. Thank you for thank you for surprisingly out of nowhere just becoming one of the better, if not one of the better best shonen series out there right now. Um, Thank you for not staying your welcome too long. Thank you for deciding this is going to be the story and deciding that this is how you're going to end it. Thank you for not falling into the trap that a lot of series fall into and that is prolonging their series for marketing uh, reasons or for financial reasons. Thank you for having this struct story. And thank you for easily becoming like one of my top three series right after Jojo and Berserk. Demon Slayer, now that it's concluded, like I can say that Demon Slayer is my in my top three, it's third place, just because again, Jojo and Berserk, I'm sorry. But, uh, but this, is, uh, this has been a wonderful experience and Obviously, I'm not spoiling anything in this in this uh, video. I'm kind of recording it, and I'm going to upload it right away. I'm not planning on editing anything. And and this is just more of a welcome and more of like a relief that this series did what it did, that it stayed its ground, that it kept up with the high quality of the story throughout the entirety of its lifespan so far. And I'm just very, very thankful that the author made it the way he did, he or she did. I'm just very, very happy with this series. And obviously, it's a little bit heartbreaking to have it finished, of course. Um, however, it left on a good note. It left with a good closure. And it left with something that I wish a couple of other uh, shonen uh, series were able to finish off. So thank you. Um, again, thank you, uh, Koyoharu Gotok. Thank you. Uh, to all the Demon Slayer fans out there, which I know there's a couple like anime, anime uproar and so on that, that review these series and with details, full on details about the little things. Thank you for the community to be, for being what it is. And I know a lot of you guys are wanting more. I know a lot of you guys don't want this to end, but I'm on the side that I'm happy at and I'm, I'm, I welcome anything uh, more Demon Slayer that's directly from the author, but but I'm I'm okay. I I had my feeling. I'm happy with the way it ended. If the author wants to make a little sequel or a little prelude or a little prequel to the series, I will happily accept it if it comes directly from him or her. Uh, I'm really wary when I'm, I get a little rare, well, I get really wary when uh, I see main line stories adapted from a different author or a different person. Uh, I'm looking at you, Gantz. Uh, oh, no, what is it, Gantz G? That I'm. Uh, I wasn't too. I wasn't too crazy about that one. Uh, yeah, I love Gantz, but, but but if you are an anime only. Fan. I hope you enjoy the movie that will come out sometime this year or next year. Uh, if you are curious, I would suggest you head into the manga because little by little, Amazon is, I think, uh, I just got volume 12 translated uh, on my mailbox uh, like a couple days ago. Uh, and, the, and the manga is going really well. It's being published frequently, so it makes it consistent as well. And I think they're already taking pre-orders for volume 16, 17, if I'm not mistaken. So they, they're moving ahead with the pre-orders at least, so they can publish enough and they don't come up with the short prints that they had with the first and second volume, for example, when the 
spike of popularity occurred. I know that I couldn't get a hold of the first three volumes for months because uh, they were out of stock. They were just out of print. So take advantage of pre-ordering. Take advantage of supporting the 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 series if you can. Buy Blu-rays. Uh, that always helps the develop the the people creating it, and that always 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 uh, motivates the studios to want to work further on it. And if season two of the anime, which I'm not talking about the movie, if season two of the anime is anything like season one, then we're in for a huge amount of fun because the arc after the movie, the the arc after that one, like we have stuff, we have really interesting, really fun stuff. And yeah, uh, thank you, everyone, all of you, the Demon Slayer community. Uh, thank you for those that recommended this series. Thank you to those that that uh, made detailed ex explanation videos of the series. That those always got me hooked and always made the the tension waiting for the next chapter really really fun. And at the end of the day, this is, is a wonderful community that I'm happy to be part of. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Tell me your experience with the Demon Slayer manga or anime in the bottom side, the bottom comments section. Try to avoid spoilers if you can. Uh, and otherwise, uh, and otherwise, uh, yeah. Thank you for everything else. Uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>